Hello again. I'm back with the 3060M in a shameless follow-up to capitalise on the interest I saw in the first video. Before, I was trying it with a PC being thrown away by a neighbour. It's probably the worst example of a PC with a PCIe slot that I have, but now I've popped it into the fastest PC I have in the house to see what that might do to the results. I hope you like the Die Hard 2 intro, it took about six hours. What the hell are you? They say lightning doesn't strike twice. Nah, this is just the beginning. They were wrong. Last time I didn't really point out any of the differences between this card and a regular 3060, so now using GPU-Z we can see a number of expected things. As I mentioned before, the Chinese card was made to counter the low hash rate limiter on the full fat 3060. Everything else on the regular card is bigger or faster apart from the CUDA count on the mobile chip. Several people asked what the performance difference was like, but as I don't have a regular 3060 I've popped a link in the top right to Dawid's video at the point he compares the two as he has both. Ok, on to the good stuff. In 3 d Mark, it's the graphics score we're probably more interested in. On the scrap PC, Firestrike gets 13,143 points overall, and the newer one gets a score of 21,015. The graphics score, however, is only 92 points higher. Following that is Time Spy, where the oldie gets 6,511 overall, and the new one gets 8,981. The graphics score is 31 points higher. Following that is Port Royal. The previous score was 5,163, and after moving the card to the newer system, the result has increased a whole six points. Heaven doesn't indicate the performance benefits of CPU and RAM like 3D Mark does, and instead gives an overall system total. It's clear, though, that a faster system helps. A lot. Back to game benchmarking, and first up is Tomb Raider, with everything set to 1080p high, the same as before. The average FPS is substantially higher than before, but looking at the results table makes little sense to me, especially if you compare the GPU figures, they seem higher on the old PC for some reason. Comment down below if you can understand what's going on there. Cyberpunk is again on high settings with DLSS set to quality. Figures are doubled or pretty close after benching in the editing PC. Borderlands 3 at the same high settings and resolution scale of 150%. doesn't really change too much, telling me that it's all about the GPU which is maxed out in both tests. The Ryzen CPU just sits there peaking at a mere 4% usage. Back in Fortnite using DirectX 12 set to high with DLSS on quality. all the figures are about a third faster, which is to be expected with an overall faster system. The faster memory also helps to flatten out the frame time graph. I figured I should try a couple of other games as well, so I tried Doom Eternal with no DLSS and the high preset. I'm sure some of the individual settings could be increased, but any higher preset gives a warning about not having enough video memory.
Lastly, I ran it through the Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition benchmark on the high preset, and got some very playable frame rates, averaging 70 FPS with a low of 40 and a high of 115. So again, nothing but praise for this card, and these tests show it to be pretty much fine in any system. I guess the minimal differences in the 3D Mark graphics scores tell me that using a Gen 3 or Gen 4 PCIe slot makes little difference as there's barely anything in them. My channel is pretty small. When I saw the explosion of views and the increase in subscribers on the 3060M video I was over the moon, but then I got worried. For those of you thinking you may have stumbled on a channel that looks at newer tech you'll be sadly disappointed in future content. I cater more to older stuff like the 22 year old graphics card my next video is about, and much as I'd like to I just don't have the money to buy all the new toys, so if you want to unsubscribe it's all good, I just don't want you to be under any illusions of what might be in the future. The future is old. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one, Bye bye What the hell are you? They say lightning doesn't strike twice. Nah, this is just the beginning.